What's up, guys? This is Ty Sasson, and welcome back to another episode. It's episode 28, and last time we worked on the mob farm, it made some uh, pretty major upgrades to it, and uh, it's been working out. It's been working out pretty good. We changed the timing system and uh, the collection system as far as uh, items go. The system that we collect our that was that was a weird damage. <laughs> Uh, the way that we collect the mobs and kill them and all of that has changed quite a bit. And actually, those changes have helped the rates, uh, which is interesting uh, because we have less spawning floors than we did. There's there's less spawning spaces in the farm now than there were before. But uh, what we did eliminate was some stop minecarts that happened all the time, and then items would just despawn. And yeah, that's it's working out pretty good. I think we're going to increase the uh, number of spawning spaces. Um, from what they are currently and maybe bring this guy up a little bit more. I, I was kind of trying to avoid it just based on, you know, kind of how it fits into the environment now, but you know, this thing's going to be an eyesore no matter what. So uh, I think we might as well do it. But, uh, but today we have some pretty major plans. I have been working around the base a little bit around, see what I did there. Uh, and uh, yeah, I put in these little tunnels here. I've been thinking about, you know, kind of what we're going to do next on this floor of the base. Cause we, you know, we've spent, we've used all of our, our room down there and uh, it's time to time to expand. So yeah, I've been thinking about, you know, tunnels over here. You can kind of see the farms that are on either side and you know, there'd be little offshoots here for uh, different rooms and different contraptions, storage, whatever you want to do. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to transition this room this tunnel, I should say, into a room, but I think we'll hash that out as well. And of course you can see the sugarcane farm. Looks like it just uh, did its, its uh, what do you call it? It, it? it went off, you know, that whole thing. Um, so, but doing all this has gotten me a little bit inspired uh, to do some more work around here and I'm pretty excited for today. So, you know, first of all, Happy New Year. This is the first video of the year and uh, I'm pretty excited for the new year. So I hope that you are as well. And uh, I think we're going to start off with uh, a bang. Not literally, we're not going to explode anything. I know you got excited. I don't have any TNT in my inventory. You see, it's just, I have some flint and steel here. Let me just... Does that make you happy? Yeah. We're not gonna blow anything up, but we are going to do some digging because it's uh, it's time to expand the base. Although we haven't maxed out the second floor, I need to kind of know where you know my limits are. And uh, yeah, it's gonna require a little bit of work around here. A little bit, a lot, a lot of work. So uh, I've I've explained it before, and if if you're new to the channel, you 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 know haven't heard it before, this isn't the final, you know, iteration of the base. The base is going to expand quite a bit beyond this shape and, you know, we're going to have another level and maybe even two more levels that are going to be kind of like this, right? Where you have this big circle kind of thing. And I think I'll keep it circles. Maybe we'll do something different, but I think we're going to do circles. So today what we're going to do is we're going to dig out the third level of the base, the second exposed level. You know, obviously there's a level down there with the end portal, and then there's this one. We're going to have one more, and uh, yeah, it's going to help me figure out kind of what more what room I have. So uh, over here, I just want to mention, we've got this... Uh, this item elevator this is our bulk storage system and uh there's an item elevator here a dropper elevator that's going to kind of determine the height of the uh the level that we're on right now so i have to obviously clear that and uh and make sure that i don't dig into this room at all and into that uh system so that that way uh, uh we, we kind of know where we're at so i think that's going to be the maximum i don't know what that is but we'll we'll probably keep that the the top of this level and uh yeah and then we'll dig out the rest and i'm going to make myself a pretty roomy area uh as well so yeah i think it's uh it's gonna be pretty good though it's gonna be a lot of work so today's uh today's gonna be one of those days where we do a little bit of a time lapse we haven't done one in a while so i'm pretty excited to say cue the time lapse <laughs>
Wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> that was a lot of work. A lot of work, but let me just tell you, this place feels so much different than it did before. So much different. And I am really, really happy with it. So uh, I've also done, you might notice, some other things around here. Uh, and I'll explain that here in just a second. But man, this place looks good. I I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. And there's a couple other things that have come from this and, you know, things that I've, I'm starting to think about here in the base. Uh, you know, one of the things that I was struggling with is what to do with these walls down here. And uh, I think I, I think I know now. Uh, I think I know. I feel much better about it. But uh, I, I do want your opinion. I, I'm thinking about going for kind of a, um, you know, rundown, broken sort of wall uh, kind of thing. Uh, I have cleaned up the place a little bit. You'll notice there's no more diorite and dirt and all that. And there's a nice one layer of that's ridiculous, but I did it anyways. <laughs> yeah, I did, you know, the one layer of dirt here because, of course, I put this on top of what uh, we had dug out, and uh, then I did it up there. So, um, anyways, I I'm thinking I'll, I'll go with like some broken, you know, stone and stuff like that. Maybe some wood in here, some bracing or something like that. Uh, but I'd love to hear what you think. If you've got an idea of how to make this wall, this inner wall right here, and this one too, of course, how to make it look good, uh, let me know in the comments below, or hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. Book. I guess I have, yeah, I have a Facebook page. I, I don't really do much there, but, um, you know, hit me up somewhere uh, and we'll, we'll chat about it or, uh, you know, tell me in the comments what you think. Um, so in the meantime, I've done some other stuff around here. You might notice that the mob farm is a lot taller than it used to be. Uh, it used to be approximately, I guess, this height somewhere around here. And uh, I went ahead and moved into the next sub chunk. So I talked about this last video, but um, if you don't know uh, mob spawning is you know not only controlled by by you know whether the mobs are in a chunk that's loaded but it also starts its algorithm sub chunk by sub chunk so you can see this little blue line right here and there's one way up there so uh, our spawning floors are all within this sub chunk now it's the highest one instead of the one below it so uh, yeah added a whole bunch more uh, spawning spaces and yeah, rates on it are, are working pretty good. Uh, I, I've been kind of AFKing in the very, very bottom below the end portal in our little maintenance area, like where our beacons are, and that, that's been working out pretty well. Um, I've also moved our nether portal for the 5,000th time. It still links up where it needs to in the nether, and uh, yeah, it's all working out just fine. Uh, that I don't know, that kind of feels like maybe it's a good spot for it. Uh, you know, nether portal, nether wart, right? I don't know. Maybe we'll build something up right here and make this the the uh, nether portal, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, I also uh, kind of worked on these areas a little bit and kind of continued with our, our leaf theme. Uh, I didn't explain it, but below these leaves are some pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns to, uh, to provide lighting. And yeah, actually this, this place is spawn proof now, which is great. Um, I've also decided I'm going to bring the redstone lamps in in these areas and that way uh, it'll help to light up the entryway to these rooms and I, I, I'm not going to necessarily carry the same uh, theme in theirs but we'll we'll see um, but yeah this is this is looking good I really like how uh, it turned out and we've got a uh, 61 61 diameter circle now so there are 61 blocks from here to that farm over there and it just exposes uh, each of the farms so you know as we cut out maybe a third layer here it, of course is going to expose the entire farm and it'll be kind of in the way but I I'm okay with that I think it'll be kind of cool uh, but for right now we can kind of see you know what this guy looks like and all of that so yeah, next steps, next steps. We got lots more to do today. So um, I'm thinking about, you know, this side of the base and uh, yeah, I think we're going to make a staircase. I think that's going to be good. I think we'll have like, you know, maybe a walk in a couple of blocks and then it'll go over on either side. And I don't think we'll do like a straight staircase, just like, you know, one direction. I think it'll curve a little bit and kind of follow our circle. Um, and I'm thinking a little bit more about this layer as well. So uh, on this layer, we have these kind of like 90 degree angles, right? And it goes into there and there and there. And then we'll have a stairway on this side. Uh, over here, I ran into some caves, uh, which luckily I'd lit up already. But this one doesn't actually go up to the surface. I bet it's probably just right up there. Or maybe it's not. I'm not really sure, actually. Uh, but it does actually go into a cave. And it, it looked to be like a decent size cave actually but um, I'm kind of thinking you know we can't really do the 90 degree angles on on this level so maybe we'll do like the diagonals instead 
and there's a little cave over there as well. And maybe we'll even use the organic shape of this cave and kind of build into that instead of these, you know, sort of symmetrical and, you know, semi perfect builds. Um, this little cave goes pretty much nowhere, uh, but we might like bring it down a little bit and you can walk inside of it and get in there. There's really nothing over on the angles in our base. So that's, that's kind of the advantage. The same thing goes down here. Uh, when we go over here, of course, we hit the farm, but over this direction and that direction, I have built nothing. So we have plenty of room to uh, to expand and, and and what have you. So I think the next step here, and I think I'll do some of this off a cam off camera, but I think we're going to dig out some of this area over here, at least to the mob farm. And uh, and that way I know kind of where I'm at as far as room. I, you know, I don't want a tight staircase, so it's right here is where we're at. So that's gonna be kind of the maximum. We got one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Mm, might might do five instead, or maybe we keep with six. Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, let me, let me dig out some of this area. This won't take me very long. It'll be nothing like the multiple hours that it took to dig out this area over here. Um, yeah, this was a, a pretty big one. I don't know how long that time lapse will be in the video, but let me say it took, uh, it took a long time. I, I tell you what, man, these freaking baby zombies today, get out of here. Take your egg somewhere else. Actually, we'll just, do we have a chicken? Do we have a chicken? No chicken. Well, anyways, let me get some digging in. Okay, how does this feel? Yeah, I think it's good. Um, I think that's what I'm aiming for. Yeah, I think so. So let's let's just jump down here. I've I've done something. I, I kind of presented myself a bit of a challenge here. I I've never made a, a staircase that curves like this, and uh, I think it's turning out right. Uh. Yeah, it kind of feels precarious, which is, is good. It, it feels like, you know, it was kind of thrown together as you walk up it, which is which is kind of cool. And I think when we finish decorating it, it should uh, it should be good. But you can kind of see from here is sort of what's what's going on, right? It's a little bit a little bit weird. Um, I might even like maybe throw a stair like here or something, just to even it now. No, no, we're gonna stay with three wide. Um, I, I like it though, and I think uh, I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, um, it could have gone a little bit further back, right? I, I was thinking of maybe like going five wide. Um, it's not a problem. Like you can you can navigate these stairs, you know, pretty easily. Uh, I, I figured that maybe at a curve it might be a little bit difficult, but it's it's fine the way it is. So, um, but I think if we dug any further, right, we would end up, uh, yeah, at the mob farm. And I don't I don't want that. Uh, I want to make sure that we kind of stay clear of that. And I actually want to use this wall for something as well. So let me go grab some items and sleep real quick and I will show you what I'm talking about. So a while ago I made a, uh, a map of the area and uh, I actually uh, I had it kind of secret for a little while. I made a map uh, before we did anything I think but the mob farm maybe? And then uh, later I made uh, another map. And the kind of cool thing is, is there's a before and after in the nether, which is really neat. But the, the thing that's really frustrating is, is when we do big stuff like we just did with the, uh, the second level and I want to update the map, I have to go to the, the nether to get it. So uh, I wanted to get a map into the base. And yeah, we're going to kind of start actually right here. I want the uh, the base to be as centered as possible, but of course that's uh, that's not exactly an option. <laughs> so you know, is what it is. But uh, let's get the, all this in here, and we'll take a look at it. And I think I think this is going to put us, yeah, pretty close to center, which means I'm I'm going to need to go get the maps out there because I I would like, of course, an, a, a five by five and not a four by four because uh, pretty much everything at the base is odd numbers, but. There we go. And now we have ourselves a map and actually we can see our new staircase on it too, which is cool. Why does it seem like it goes further on one side than the other? Does it? No, there's no way. Maybe it does. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to have to check that out because uh, that's a little concerning. Um, does it? Am I just looking at it sideways? 
anyways, so there we go. The map uh, of our world and more importantly, the map, I should say, of our base is up on the wall. And I think I'll decorate this a little bit as well. I put the uh, glowstone uh, in there so that way, hopefully, I'm pretty sure maps and, and item frames are transparent. So we should have some light on that and it should be easy to look at at all times. And actually, that's a cheaty way to light up that area there. So uh, what we need to do next is start working on kind of decorating this staircase because, of course, uh, it looks sort of lame right now. So. Uh, let me go grab some various materials and uh, I'll start trying out some different designs. All right, let's see. What do we think? Uh, yeah, I think this is gonna this is gonna work. This was not the original uh, idea that I had actually, but uh, I, I do like it. So I brought the uh, the red nether brick in, which I, I do I do quite like. Um, I don't think. I don't think this is going to become the wall, in case you're wondering or worried. I feel like it'd be too much uh, if we did that, but uh, I thought I'd kind of like brace, you know, this would be like bracing back this uh, this red nether brick and supporting it, basically, and yeah, I think it, I think it feels good. Um, I haven't done the other side because I ran out of red nether brick, and so you can see my... Um, uh, this is the Furnace Array version 17.6, and uh, yeah, tutorial up on the channel very soon. Uh, I really need a super smelter. <laughs> So I'm I'm smelting 16 stacks of nether nether rack right now. Um, yeah, so I think we'll do the same thing on the other side, and then the only other thing that I want to do this episode, which I, I want to do while this uh, stuff smelts up, which uh, it's getting there. Um, what I'd like to do is get the rest of these maps filled in. So I grabbed the corner map, so that way I can kind of see where we're at, and I'm gonna go grab some more rockets here, and then fly around a little bit. And uh, I think we have a total of yeah nine more more maps that I need to get. I don't want to leave that thing looking super blank uh, when I finish the stairway. So uh, off I go in um, in this direction. I'm not really sure which way I'm going. All right, let's see here. So 33, I think this goes up here, right there. And then these go down, I think. Oh, it's a puzzle. Huh? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. 19. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done this, but uh, yeah, uh, it's like an air trying to figure out. Wow, that looks amazing. Uh, it's like an air trying to figure out, you know, which map I had in my hand. <laughs> It's a little confusing. So there's a lot of ocean over here. I wonder if we could do anything cool with that. So, um, yeah, base is, I think, up to date. Can I have that real quick? And bloom. Yeah, it looks like it's up to date. It's up to date now. Huh? Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's take a, a trip out of here and take a peek at what we've done. So, man, I think it looks pretty cool. It's, it's definitely very rich in color, uh, which is sort of... That's sort of always been the choice with this whole red nether brick. Um, and I was thinking that, you know, maybe it would be broken down around here, but maybe, you know, maybe this is like the new construction that's happened here, right? The the red nether brick represents new stuff that's being built. So, and the, uh, you know, the rest of what we're going to build here in the near future will be, you know, like the rundown part of it, something like that. So um, I think it looks pretty good though. Um... Yeah, if you have any opinions on it, let me know. This is, uh, I mentioned before, I'm not like an expert builder or anything like that. So I'm uh, I'm always just sort of coming up with something and, you know, trying it out and hoping that it looks okay. So, you know, any in input you have, I'd love to hear it. But uh, I think this stairway is done for now. And I really like the map. And it certainly does look like it's pretty bright. Um, so I think that glowstone is working out. And the, uh, the, sh the base now kind of looks like it's uh, an anchor with an eye in it. I don't know. So there was one more thing that I wanted to do today, and I'm not sure how much time we have to do it. So uh, I'm going to run. Oh, well, my furnaces are done. That's amazing. Um, I'm going to run over here, I think. Let's see here. So when I come out of the bulk storage room, I often go left. And the reason why is that the, uh, ender and the nether portal used to be over there. So I think I'll build this over here. And yeah, we'll use one of these two rooms. And what I'd like to do is put up a machine that I've uh, put up many, many times in one of these rooms here. So we probably won't have enough time to decorate the room, uh, but we'll at least have some time to put it together. So let me get a little bit of space dug out here and we'll, uh, we'll start a quick little build. Okay, so I looked at the episode time, and there's there's definitely not enough time to uh, to make this room, but uh, we'll make the contraption real quick because it's super easy, and 
I, I've contemplated just like not not doing the contraption, but I figured it'd be kind of rude since I've already hyped up that I'm doing a contraption. Uh, this is a super simple uh, build, but basically what this room is going to be here on this side of our base, staircase is over there, bulk storage is over there. This is going to be the concrete room. So we're going to store concrete in here. We're going to make concrete in here. And that's what this machine is going to be for. I'm going to build it, uh, the insides of it out of black concrete, but uh, that is super, super difficult to see uh, on YouTube. So uh, what we'll do here, we've got a hopper going into a chest and basically there's going to be a water stream going right here and a uh, uh, spot for us to place concrete powder right there. And super, super easy. We're going to need some observers this, by the way, is Cubfan 135's, I uh, just need one of those, design, and it's it's like the easiest thing in the world to make. In fact, I've, uh, I've actually made this uh, a number of times and uh, taken it down. It's actually in one of my episodes. There's, there's a concrete converter in the back of the in the background of the episode uh, but this thing's super easy to make I usually make it on site at different places because it's just it's such a piece of cake so uh, hopefully you're following along there's basically a, a dispenser you can see that redstone flashed there uh, there's a excuse me uh, an observer here it uh, it pulses this redstone uh, dust there and it will then shoot concrete into your hand so that's kind of the idea basically we're gonna put a chest up there and jump around repeatedly for no apparent reason. Grab some stairs, and that way our chest can still open. Put a trap door here to stop the water, and that's it, um, except for a little bit of that. So uh, ideally you wanna close this thing up, so that way you know your concrete's not spitting out everywhere, but just to show you how it works here, we'll put some water in there. Of course it won't run too far, and that will convert our concrete powder we're just going to keep a few of these, put the rest of them in here. That will, of course, make its way into that dispenser. We put this in your offhand and grab your pick. And then every time you place one of these, you'll see that I get one. And then you break it and you get one and so on. But if you just hold left and right mouse click, it will do this forever. Or more importantly, until you've uh, run out of concrete powder. So super, super useful machine. I don't actually need blue concrete for anything right this second, but thought I'd make some just to show you how to do it. Um, but yeah, super useful machine. And it's it's kind of the, the way that I, for the most part, create concrete. Uh, unless I didn't have access to observers, then I would go, you know, hang out in a stream or something like that. But yeah, really useful. Uh, like I said, I'll link, I'll link Cubfan's uh, tutorial in the description for you so you can go watch the video, but it's yeah, super easy to build and really if you have redstone box with you you could go and you know make a farm somewhere out in the world and then just build this thing up and and uh and utilize it and then tear it back down because it's literally an observer redstone dot dispenser couple hoppers four chests and trap door and stairs and then some random blocks oh and some water super difficult so yeah um that's that's gonna be it for this build for today i i've got i've got uh, a plan to make this room you know look nice and and all that kind of stuff but it's going to bug me if I don't do that. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I, uh, I don't want to make the episode too long, so I think we'll cut it out here. Next time, we are going to go on a bit of an adventure. I've got a, a little bit of a plan to, uh, to go and find a particular place in the world, somewhere that uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to hang out and, uh, and do some building at. And yeah, I'll, I'll show you along the way once we, uh, once we locate it and what have you. I think it'll be a pretty, pretty good um, I'm eating carrots. It'll be a pretty good episode, so uh, don't miss that. But for uh, for now, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And next time, uh, like I said, we'll we'll grab some uh, potions and and what have you. We'll go out for an adventure and uh, and have a good time. So uh, in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Ty Sasson, and I'll see you in the next episode. Meanwhile, across town, in this less than fashionable cubby hole of the San Francisco Examiner, these editors are programming today's copy of the paper into that same Ohio computer.